here we are with another video on Once Human. This time, as you've read, an exciting boss fight where I think I might have taken down the boss too quickly, but all in due time. Right now, we're wrapping up the exploration of this little town. In this town, there have been fewer pages and really good items compared to usual. Could it be because it's more populated? Oh, finally! Here we have another page from the field guide titled Take Back What Was Lost. Okay, I've made sure to visit all the structures in the city, and now I'd say it's time to hop on the ride and head back home. We've unlocked another override slot which allows us to choose another bonus. I'm a bit unsure, but since I tend to favor long-range weapons like the crossbow, bow, or sniper, I think I'll go with the long-range enhancement. We should have a few points to try on the wish machine, so let's go. Guys, I'm way too good at this game. I love hitting mole llamas. Awesome. We're almost there to unlock the SOCR, the Last Valor BP, the best one available. I only needed 10 out of 20, and now it should be 11 out of 20. But today, I want to try out this weapon, because it's the best one I have, and we need to make the most of it. Don't you all think so, too? Check out the splendor I've just created, but now we also need to calibrate it to the max. And it's done. I wonder how it'll destroy the enemies. But you know, it's not enough. I'd say we should also add a nice mod if we can find the right one. The Crit Boost Violent Mod sounds great with its 6% critical chance and 3% critical damage. And since we can enchant it, let's level it up to ensure it's ready to destroy everything. Equip the mod and now let's admire our new beast. It matches perfectly with my rider's cap. Today we're going all out! Let's immediately test it against the monsters coming out of my territory purification. The damage is on point. We'll smash them to pieces. Let's grab more ammo from the crates. Oh no, I made a mistake. I left the crates instead of grabbing the ammo. Got them back. What luck that only these two came through and there are defenses on my territory purification. I really hate those pesky flying insects. They take so much damage for nothing. Oh no, I need to heal. I messed up pressing the wrong button. Now I'm definitely going to die. 
Stupid insects and stupid me for not grabbing the ammo I needed right away. But let's destroy them if I find the ammo in the crate. The damage I'm dealing is insane. This weapon is really powerful. If I'd positioned myself better from the start, I could have saved a syringe to get back up. But this has been a lesson for whenever I use these firearms. Okay, let's finish off the last few monsters and we're done. Successfully completed, let's go. Let's head back to the wish machine and try again. We're just two out of 20 points away from the ultimate reward. Curious to see how much stronger it will be compared to what we have now. After that, we'll tackle the Trent mission. Bummer about the ultimate reward being the same weapon, but great job capturing that deviant bee. It sounds like you're setting up for an amazing corn farm. Let's focus on the Trent mission now. Exciting times ahead. Nice. Clearing out extra areas before diving into the mission is always a good idea. It's a great way to make sure you're well prepared and can focus on the main objective without distractions. Let's take care of these enemies and complete the area before tackling the mission. Oh no, I'm having trouble finding my way back up. I'm lost, help. What a mess. What oh, okay, I finally found the way up. With all these branches in the way, I probably should have followed the path of yellow banners. It would have been way easier. A nice Molotov and these thorns are gone for good. Look at that nice little fire. Oh no, didn't expect to set myself on fire just to open the chest. Got it, I'll be more careful from now on after the Molotov. Let's see if I can climb this spot without having to go around the mountain. A bit of parkour usually helps and does the trick. When you find these rocks, break them open because there could be chests behind them. The quickest way is to blow them up, and actually, the only way. Let's start throwing them. Maybe we'll need to combo them since there are so many. 
Fortunately, I have plenty of grenades, so let's go. Boom, boom, boom. As I was saying, here's the weapon chest. Oh, we found another Xeno purifier. Great. This deviant seems to be one of the strongest. Now let's get on with the mission. We've already been wandering around for too long. After completing it, I'll look for the mystical crate. Let's take a moment to activate the teleport tower and then head into the monolith. All right, just like the first monolith, there are a couple of crates before the entrance. We also found some shoes. Let's check them out. Got it. Equip the new shoes with better bonuses and head inside. Good idea to explore first. You might find useful items or hidden paths before jumping into the beam. All set and ready to go. Time to dive in and tackle those challenges. Good luck with the attack. Got it. Take out those three tree tentacles to make the boss vulnerable. Keep your wits about you and stay on the move. You've got this. I swear I hate those insects. They focus on me when my deviant hits them. What's the point? I don't get it. Now that we've taken down all the annoying branches and especially those insects, we have 120 seconds to shoot at the boss. Then I think we'll need to take down more, so let's throw those Molotov cocktails and shoot every shot we have.
Damn, this boss deals a lot of damage, but thanks to the grenades and molotovs, the first part of its health is down. Let's take cover in here and shoot him. What luck, he used his mega beam right away, and we successfully took cover, and look at the insane damage I did thanks to my rifle. It's ridiculously good. Seven seconds to take down this boss once we removed his invincibility. How did you find this boss fight? Fair or not? The new rifle really wrecks the bosses. And this deviant harvest seed is coming home with us today. We can safely leave. I'm really thrilled with this weapon. Twenty-nine thousand seven hundred ninety-five damage in just one minute. Sure thing, let's see what Mitsuko has to say. Talk to Mitsuko. It's good to see you again, Meta. That little deviation you hold in your cradle let you to lay waste to the Delta. And you contained it. Thank you. It's hard for the people of Nalfok to cope with these deviations and the pain they cause. I just wish I could do more to help. I'm sorry you had to accomplish what I wish I could do myself. If only I was stronger. If only I hadn't caused the Maid Hive to be destroyed by Rosetta. Things might be different. Together we can rebuild the Mayflies. I envy your confidence. Your strength. The problem is, we don't know how many survived or where they are now. I wish I could go and find out myself, but I can't. The only thing I can do right now is keep the Mayfly spirits alive. Thankfully, I have you to help me. You're our best hope, Meta. One day, when I have the courage and strength to do so, maybe I'll join you in the real world and fight alongside you. Until then, I've managed to create more memetics for you. They should help prepare you for the challenges ahead. Come and see me again soon. I'll be waiting for you. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please subscribe, leave a like or comment, and remember to hit the bell icon for notifications on my videos.